Welcome back to Hope Tower Daily. My name's Angie. I live in a little seaside town in England. I read tarot cards out of my art room in my spare bedroom. The timestamps are below if you instantly know which reading you'd like to go for. We've got number one, number two, number three. We've got an angel, a crown and a contemporary angel. So if you want to use the timestamps below, just go straight there now. They're always down below to speed this whole thing up for you. I'm also going to do a card selection meditation in a moment so that your energy can be drawn towards your reading. I do have personal readings available on my website. If you want to have a look, it's hopetower-daily.co.uk. The link should be in the description below. We've got read number one. Read number two, read number three in this pick a card tarot reading, asking the question, why did they, why did you meet them? We're going to be um, doing a connection spread with the Rider White Smith tarot deck. And then we're having a look at past life connection with this person with the Morgan Greer tarot deck. So I'm going to do an overlay to look at if you've got past life connection with this person to see if we can get any further insight. I really enjoy doing a past past life connection because it can really throw up things that are maybe lingering from your energies meeting before. So in a moment, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. When you open your eyes again, you should be drawn. Your energy should be drawn towards the the reading that is meant for you today. So take a nice deep breath out. Slowly close your eyes and take a nice normal breath back in again. And then take a nice deep breath back out and really empty all your lungs. Take a normal breath back in again. Imagine that you're in the middle of the most beautiful fairy tale forest and there's a bonfire at the end of the path. And you're slowly going to walk towards this fire that's crackling and the flames are jumping around and you feel all your worries and all your concerns just floating away. You can see the embers from the fires jumping up into the sky. It's a little bit of a breeze taking them off. And as you look around, you can see a log to sit on. You're going to slowly walk over and sit on the log and just gaze into the fire. Feel the warmth on your face and it travels down through your body. As you slowly open your eyes, your energy will be drawn towards the warmth of the reading that is meant for you today. We've got reading number one, reading number two, reading number three. If you want to use the timestamps below to jump there straight straight away. If you get confused between two different readings, whichever reading you end up on is the reading that's meant for you. If there's a a point in the future where you want to ask this question again come back and do the reading again there may be another message from the universe about someone else that's in your life this reading's here for you to use as you will so use the time sites below to go to read number one number two and number three welcome to your reading your energy was drawn towards this angel so i'm going to put her over here so she can watch over the proceedings we're doing a pick card tarot read and stay asking why did you meet them i'm going to use the morgan greer de deck to do a past life connection overlay at the end see if there's been any past life connection between you both but we're going to start with the rider white smith deck and i'm going to do a connection spread i've already reset both the decks i do that by dealing the cards into four piles and then i bring them back together give them a good shuffle i like to close down any energy from any previous readings so that we can be certain every single card that comes out is definitely ans answering the question why did you meet them? Are they a twin flame? Are they a soulmate? Were they a lesson? We'll see. Well, was it destiny? Was it a mistake? Whether it's a relationship, a counter, just someone that you feel really connected to, friendship, a work colleague, someone that's been upsetting you, someone you feel closely connected to. We're going to have a look at why did you meet them? This pick a card tarot reading. 
So I'm going to start by splitting the deck into four, four elements, four seasons. Most importantly, four angels offering us a circle of protection so that we can give and receive this message with an open heart and an open mind. I've been drawn towards this one. So let's have a look. Why did you meet them? What insight can we get? So this side is you and then this side is them. So our first card for you is the Five of Cups tarot card, which is all about loss, regret and new hope. So I think when you met them, you were looking for something new. You you were dwelling on the past quite a bit. There, there's definitely something that you had to leave behind in the past. It's It's almost like I get a feeling that one door closed and then this door with this person opened up. So let's have a look for them. So they were feeling trapped by their circumstances as well. They were going through kind of the same situation as you. So I think you both met at a time when you were both looking for something. You were both you were both needing to close one door and open another door. And um, it could be that the transition period is when you two met or once you'd both fully moved on into your things so they've got the eight of swords tarot card which is all about restrictions denial frustrations they may have been in a situation they weren't happy with and they were definitely trying to look for something else but they were feeling like they weren't able to live life that they wanted. So then the connecting energy between you is the emperor. The emperor is very logical, has a lot of respect and is quite level headed. So it may be that the um, emperor energy drew you both together because you were both looking for something. I think you were more actively looking at it. I think you were more in a thing of in the process of accepting what's been and gone so that you could turn around and face the future. I think they may have been needing someone to reach in and pull them out because I don't think they had the ability just at that point when you first met to actually start the process. So it's almost like you were further ahead in the healing of the past process than what you were. So the emperor could also be um, a person introduced you or a workplace introduced you because the emperor is like a boss, is like a father figure, is it could be a friend or it could just be the general energy of the universe. So we'll have a look at another card for you. You were definitely in a transition period in your life when this person came into your life or when you, I think it's more that you came into this person's life, to be honest. So we have the hanged man reversed, Tara. The hanged man, it's not reversed. I'm just losing my words. The hanged man tarot card is all about a transition. So we're all about making choices, making the sacrifices to move forward. So you were definitely putting things behind you you were mourning the loss with what had been and gone in the past but you were letting it go so that you could move forward into the new cups I think emotionally and mentally you were just further along the process than what they were they they had a lot going on they've got the 10 of wands tarot card and that's all about determination but a heavy workload and having to shoulder the responsibilities of a lot so maybe they saw you as someone who helped lighten their load a little bit as we see there now so this is when you first met and then on the on the second layer they're no longer like wrapped up in binds but they're now free but have a lot of weight on their shoulders so they haven't I think they're the type of person who's just not willing to ever or haven't been willing to process problems from the past or accept problems from the past it's, it's almost like they create, create a to-do list for themselves but instead of feeling free by having a to-do list it's like oh I've got to do this oh I've got to do that and I don't think they necessarily realize that they're things that they choose to do so we'll have a look at the connecting energy between you both 
So at that point, I think maybe you were getting frustrated with them because you, you like when you met them, you were so ready to move on to the next point in your life. You were so accepting of the past and working through your past and, and taking the lessons from the past and moving forward. And you had this renewed hope and you were ready to make sacrifices to move on to a new life together. But it's almost like they've got this weight on their shoulders and they're not willing to lift that weight off for you two to keep connecting for you two to keep going together so then we have the five of swords reverse so there's some kind of deception or malice though so i don't think it's necessarily malice on their part or your part i think it's you want you looked at them and hoped if i read if i read it's almost i'm also almost getting this feeling that you felt if i reach in and help pull this person out of the situation they're in out of the mental state they're in, out of the emotional turmoil they're in. If I help them, we can build a life together. And it kind of didn't work like that. So I think at this point, you were then at a crossroads of, do I continue waiting for this person to work through the things that they need to work through so that we can finally cement our connection and move forward to the future? And you, I think you were really getting very frustrated by it. It's almost like you wanted you wanted you both to um take on the world together and like take over the world together and and do all these things and they it's almost like they were walking away they were like oh, I've got too much to do of I don't have enough time I I can't see you because I'm doing this or I've got that and I've got my ex and I've got this and I've got this and I've got this I don't know they seem to be very very good at self burdening themselves. I don't I think they at some point in the future I hope that they realise that a lot of their problems is what they're causing for themselves. And I think that'll make sense to you. So at the moment I think you're still waiting. Your energy is the five, the seven of Pentacles Tarot card, and that's all about reaping the rewards of what you sow. You hope that this is gonna be successful whatever choice you've made at the cross crossroads or going to make at the crossroads because i think this may be where you're at at the moment and you're just wondering what do i do next so i think you're going to take your time i think you're going to wait for a little bit and to see what happens you're planting your seeds hoping that they're going to be long-term success that it's going to grow so we'll have a look where they're going to be at the temperance so they are going to get to a point where they have harmony and um self-control will come in and they will get a flow of energy but i don't think it's going to be by their do and i think something's going to have to happen to force them to regain the balance in life because because at the moment or in the definitely in the moment they're they're taking on the weight of the world they've got ambition they've got things they want to do but they're not really realistic with their time something's going to happen where they're going to have to they're going to have to find that that flow of one to the other where they're feeding their uh, career and their emotions and their time and their love and they they just gonna have to balance all these things out let's have a look at the connecting energy so we have prolonged heartache we have the three of swords reversed so i think you're going to wait a little bit longer i think that you are going to have to give up i think that i i i just i just think there's going to be something that happens for them that isn't what they've they've chosen that isn't it's almost like they're reluctant they're reluctant to take steps forward but it's almost like something has to give something has to give and they will harmony will come in but it won't be of their doing the connecting energy between you both is a heartache for you both i think you're gonna wait it out a little bit longer you're gonna i think whatever happens you want the best for them and you want them to be happy and you, you want them to have a better future because the state they were in when you met them and you reached in and pulled them out they've got a lot of stuff to process they've got a lot of stuff to process but i think i think you are going to get to the point where you just 
peacefully waiting and then you you're gonna have to move forward you need to make plans for yourself you are at such an important stage in your life you've had a lot go on in your life you've you've kind of getting to the point now where you're processed the past you're healing from the past and it's really important I especially feel that you need someone who is alongside you, who can enjoy the fruits of the seeds that you're willing to plant. You're willing to do the work. You're willing to plant the seeds. You're you're willing to watch things grow. It's almost like they just go along with destiny. They're not making choices. They're not making good choices for themselves. They're not they're not like proactive in life. It's like they're waiting for life to happen to them. And I think whatever happens next will be whatever life happens for them and they're, they're just not like a go-getter and if they if they make plans or if they do anything it they they feel it like it's a massive burden even if it's something that they've chosen I just don't see that you two are kind of matched I think that you met them to show you how far you've come because I think you identify with them so much because it wasn't that long ago that you felt trapped by life and you felt like you were powerless and you felt all of the things that they're currently going through and and I think that you met them to show you how far you've come and how you're not in that place anymore and how you now need to distance yourself from people that drag you down or make you it's almost like they use up 90 percent of your energy so you've only got 10 percent left and you need to be with people that are willing to have 50 50 is they put 50% energy in, you put 50% energy in, and then you both grow and you both do so much. This person can't do that. It's beyond their ability at the moment. Maybe in the future they will, but I think they're very much happy. Not happy, but I think they're quite content with letting fate and life and destiny dictate where their life goes. They're, they're, they're never going to have a life plan. So I'm going to split the Morgan Greer deck into four. Again, for angels surrounding us, I'm going to see if you've got any past life connection with this person to explain this any further. So if we get any overlay with the same cards or similar meaning cards, then there could be a hint of um, a past life connection. But it could also highlight any past life energy that you have repeating in this life or they have repeating in this life. So I'm going to stop talking and lay the cards. So we have the Two of Swords, which is kind of similar to the Five of Cups. The Two of Swords tarot card is all about having to find that inner balance. You, you've had, you had, in a past life, you had to find your inner balance. You had to find your inner peace. And I think you paid, played the role again in the past of keeper of peace, of helping other people. You, you were able to balance your emotions out and then you had a lot of choices you knew that you had choices like in this life you've known that you've had the choice of putting the past behind you and respectfully like grieving it and then moving forward you understand that you have that choice so that instinct that you have has definitely come from a past life that you knew you had choices in a past life you knew that you could choose to stay and dwell or you could choose to heal and move forward so in their past life they had happiness they had abundance they had success they had joy they they had everything they needed so maybe that's why they're struggling so much with this life. Maybe that's why their soul, their essence, their spirit is struggling with this life. Because in their past life, they had everything handed to them on the plate. Everything they wanted grew. They had a lot of love around them. They they bathed in the sun. They bathed in the warmth. They, they had everything they needed. And I think they feel restricted so much. They feel so burdened by this life because they're having to work for it. But they're not willing to work for it because they didn't have to work for it before. So your connecting energy between you in a past life is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is all about having eyes on a prize, um, having just rushing in and making changes and, and things happening and 
and making positive changes for the future and and like having a call to pat battle and kind of just making the changes and doing everything it takes to make the changes i'm not sure whether that's actually a connecting energy between you or whether that's just put a wall between you but we'll keep looking your next energy for your past life was the ace of wands or the ace of rods tarot card and that's all about you had a bright future you understood you made had to make choices in that life you made positive choices and you put yourself onto the path as something very successful something amazing really this is just one of your past lives and this past life i think was quite successful for you you were the one that made things happen you were the one that was driving your life forward as you are with this life and you you just had you've always i think your soul and your spirit has always had this understanding that you can't just sit back and wait for life to happen that you have to go out there and get it you've got a very strong spirit you really have you really really have so in their past life so they've this kind of explains so much, to be honest. We've got the Ten of Swords laying right on top of the Ten of Wands. So that's kind of the same kind of energy. And so they went from the sun of having abundance, joy, success, happiness. And then they went to the Ten of Swords tarot card, which is about the trails, safe self-sabotage, ending of relationships, being hurt things happening that you don't they didn't expect to happen so they've it's almost like they had their their um their life ripped out from beneath their feet and they didn't see it coming and it was a complete surprise and it left them very very hurt so that energy has definitely come through to this life with them because where they're at, at the moment is they feel overly burdened they take the weight on their shoulders it's almost like their energy and their spirit is waiting for this bad thing to happen I think they haven't, as much as they haven't resolved anything from this life or anything, they haven't resolved anything from their previous life either. So your connecting energy is definitely, again, a very fast card. The Knight of Swords is all about fast and speed and things happening and changing and making things happen. So in this layer, we have the Eight of Wands or Eight of Rods tarot card, which is all about fast progress, good news, messages. So I think if you two did come into contact in a past life, it would have been very fast paced. It would have been something that happened quite quickly. It could have been quite fast moving. I'm going to keep looking at the cards and see what comes out. And then we have the chariot on your side. So you got to a point in your past life where you were a leader. You were pulling two things together. You People looked up to you. People respected you. People... um knew that you had resilience, that you had leadership skills, that you were successful, that you made your life, you came out of it and you you understood the choices that you had to make and you made those choices and you worked hard and then you become in a position where you led other people, you brought different types of people together and you could see the skill sets that everyone had and, and put them all in together and made things happen, you made everything happen. You were very, very successful. I think that might be why you're getting frustrated at the moment, because you're planting your seeds. You're willing to plant your seeds and you're willing to work hard to make them grow. You're willing to nurture them. And this connection here with you at the moment is just not working because your overall soul, your overall spirit is all about working hard, moving forward, bringing people together that can work hard and move forward. And at the moment, it looks like in this life, this person does not want to work hard. They do not really want to move forward. They don't want to let go of the past. They're kind, they're, they've got a lot to process. So their energy is the moon. They're just not ready to face up to anything from the past. So in their past life, they went from the Ten of Swords to the moon. The moon is about confusion. The moon is about inner fears, deception, not being honest with people, not being willing to see where the path is in the darkness. They just slipped into darkness and stayed there. They 
they went from having the sun so they had abundance joy success and happiness something massive happened to them and instead of overcoming it they lived the rest of their life in darkness they lived the rest of their life in confusion they'd never processed why it happened why this bad thing happened to them why their life suddenly changed it was something that was beyond their control it was something that that but then they weren't willing to learn from it either. They're, they've never been like you. They've never been understanding that there's choices in life. They've never seen their choices in life because I think they were born into a privileged life. So they never had them skills from the beginning of their past life. And it's just an energy. It's like they are going to come to a point where they heal from their past life. And I hope that in this life they learn enough from the temperance with this flow of self-control and harmony and learning that they need balance and learning that they do have choices that when they go into their next life they'll have a much better life because I think in this life they're not having a nice one at all but in their past life they had a worse one so we'll have a look at your connecting energy the page cups reversed which is idleness wasted talents wasted opportunities you may have been connected in a very short space of time in a past life. I think you may have been connected to what kind of brought their downfall a bit because we have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Swords is all about being called to battle, having your eyes on the prize, making choices. So I think if you were connected, it was very quick. It may be that you were there or you saw kind of what happened to them and I think maybe that's why you feel connected to them because your past energy saw their downfall it may be that they were an important high up not important but higher class more privileged and you kind of witnessed and the people around you and society around you witnessed the downfall of this person and I think that's what drives you on to be more successful because it happened so quickly and so suddenly and you can also I think you've also when you were connected to them I don't think it was like um, a close connection at all I think it was like they were part of your community, your society, your your you you were aware of who who they were, and you were very aware of what caused them to have their downfall and how they never dealt with it and how they never recovered from it. And you also are aware that it happened so quickly, so suddenly, but they never took the opportunity to um change it or learn from it. And you kind of I think at that point you just thought, well, I'm not ever going to let myself get in that position. I'm always going to be prepared for everything. And when something bad happens, I'm just going to accept it. I'm going to work through it and I'm going to move on and move forward. I'm going to keep choices. I'm going to, I'm always going to have choices of how I deal with it, how I move forward from it. So that's why I think you've met them in this life. I think you're, you kind of, your souls recognise each other and you just instinctively wanted to reach in and pull them out. But then they just, they can't, they can't be pulled out by anyone else. They have to work through this on their own. Remember we have the Three of Swords reversed, which is about prolonged pain with your connection. So I don't, I don't think that you're going to be in each other's life long term. I think you're always going to be aware of them and I think you're always going to be wishing them well and hoping that they they do get to a point where they have healed from the past because it must have been a massive shock to their soul and their spirit in their past life because they went from abundance joy happiness to the ten of swords self-sabotage ending of relationships ending of of that and, and having a lot of pain for it so I hope this has given you some kind of insight into why you two are connected. I don't think you're soulmates. I don't think you're twin flames. I'm sorry if that if you wanted me to tell you that you are, but I don't think that you are. I just think that your souls recognise each other or your soul very much recognised their soul from a previous life and you wanted to take the opportunity to reach them out and make a difference because... There's just this deep thing inside you that, that knows what they went through in a past life was not their fault. 
and it happened so quickly and it changed so quickly and you wanted to help them but I think you need to admit that no one's going to be able to help them they're going to have to work through this on their own and they are going to get to the point they've got the temperance coming in but yet again it's not their choice it's something that's inflicted upon them it's like they're sitting back waiting for life to happen and and that's not you you're you're not you're not the type of person that's willing to sit back and wait for life to happen it's like you wait to a point and then you are going to move on you are going to have the success that you had in your past life you are going to have that and you are going to be bringing people together and you're going to attract people towards you so anyway i hope this has given you some kind of insight into this why did you meet this person I'd like to wrap you in a protective bubble so your angels can take you on your way. My angels can take me on to my next reading. Um, I do have personal readings available on my website, which is in the description box below. I'd like to thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you soon. Personal readings are available on my website, hopetarot-daily.co.uk. Welcome to Hope Tower Daily. This is your pick a card tower reading. Ask and question, why did you meet them? Your energy has been drawn towards the crown. So I'll put that over here so it can watch over what we're doing. I'm going to be using the Morgan Greer deck to do an overlay of past life connections to see if there's a past life connection with this person or not. But we're asking the question, why did you meet this person? Why did you meet them? Why have you come in contact with them? Are they a twin flame? Are they a soulmate? Have they been a lesson? Was it a mistake? Were you meant to meet? Were you not meant to meet? So whoever it is, whether it's a love connection, a hopeful love connection, a boss, a parent, a, a child, a friend, any kind of person, you're just wondering why they've come into your life, really. So I've already reset both the decks. I do that by dealing them into four piles. I like to close down any energy from any previous readings so that we can be certain that every single card that comes out is definitely asking, answering the question, why did you meet them in this pick a card tarot reading? So I'm going to start by splitting the deck into four, four elements, four seasons, and most importantly, four angels offering us a circle of protection so that we can give and receive this message with an open heart and an open mind. I've been drawn towards this one. So I'm going to do a connection spread down. This side is you, down that side is them, and down the middle is what's connecting you. So when they come into your life, you're at a point in your life where you were having to stand your ground. You were kind of feeling tested. You were full of courage. You were ready to get out there again. You were ready. I think you'd been through quite a bit. So we have the Seven of Wands tarot cards and that's all about standing your ground. You're ready for battle. You're ready to move on with life and you're ready to take whatever life throws at you. And then, so their energy was, oh dear, the King of Pentacles reversed. So the King of Pentacles reversed is someone who's very insensitive. They're all about money. They don't necessarily think about what they say and how it will upset anyone. They really like buying things. They really like, they will almost shower you with money, shower you with gifts and then kind of twist it back on you like, well, I, I gave you that, so what are you going to do for me? Or if you have an argument, the first thing that will come out will be, um, well, who was who paid for it? I paid for it. They're quite petty when it comes to money. They're quite insensitive. They don't think anyone has feelings. I don't think they really know what feelings are or what um, sensitivity is in any kind of way. They, It's almost like, they would throw money at a problem thinking the money's going to solve it and it doesn't, not really. Or they will chase money more than they chase people. They, you know, they may have quite a bit of debt as well. It may not be, what you see may not be paid up for front, up front. It may be built on debt and illusion. So your connecting energy is the page of pentacles reversed which is a, a lot of pettiness about money. This person's very driven about money. I think that when you met that 
you're on a different pay scale to them or you're you you I think you're used to spending what you have you you're quite clever with money you if you haven't earned it you don't necessarily spend it if you do have credit cards or anything you're quite sensible with it you know what it's like to not have and so you really appreciate when you do have and I really don't like this page of pentacles reversed sat right in the middle of you both because it's just really highlighting that this king of pentacles reversed whether it's a man or a woman you know the tarot cards aren't it's all about um personality rather than gender so i don't like that page pentacles because the pages are quite a young energy and they're quite childish and when they're reversed they're quite a negative childish childish energy or they're quite lazy and they're petty with money and they they I think it's really highlighting that the king of pentacles may have a gambling problem may have a lot of debt may have a massive mortgage may just over really stretch themselves may be quite good at spending other people's money and maybe wants to spend your money well, there's a lot of money in this and they're all reversed I don't like it so we have the ace of pentacles reversed which is it's causing you anxiety maybe if this is someone that you've been dating you may feel that you can't afford to date them it's like there's a there's a price there's a cost to their connection and then they have the queen of cups energy as well so the queen of cups when she's reversed she is someone who can't really be trustworthy she's not trustworthy at all so this is just the general energy so this may be an extra energy and an extra layer to this person or maybe an ex of theirs or i just think this is them this is this is how they are they like it's almost like they shower people with this false perception of I love you so much, here's some money, I love you so much, we'll spend some money. But then they twist it and then they they're not trustworthy, they're not they're not um they have mood swings, they they turn around and poke you in the eyes. It's almost like they give you a lot of love, they give you a lot of affection, but then they take it away and it kind of leaves you feeling like well, what have I done wrong? Why are they silent? Why are they why are they treating me like this? I thought they liked me. I thought they cared about me. They're very motivational about money. Your connecting energy is romance. So that's the four of wands tarot card. And that's about celebrations, house moves, romance, marriage, sometimes a wedding in the family. It may be a celebration that you go to. It may be romance between you both. It may be that you've been thinking about moving in together, but moving in together, they're kind of um, overstretching it. So you kind of understand that you need to be clever with money. You need to do this. You need to do that. And they're kind of forcing you into a position to overstretch yourself to, to, kind of dip into your credit to dip into your debt and 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 i'm just not liking this connection then we have the seven of pentacles which is all about reaping what you sow again you understand that you have to plant seeds and wait for them to grow before you can spend them you can't spend what you haven't got we have a seven and seven you're quite stable and you're quite you understand that you're you have to work together you understand that you need contracts and you need alliances with other people and you've got a very good perspective on life and this person's causing you financial hardship well not hardship but financial insecurity because they're trying to it's almost like they're making you go against what you believe's right so they need they need to learn from whatever it is they're doing they have the Five of Cups, which is all about loss, regret and new hope. So they're going to have to lose something. They're going to have to face up to the debt that they are in. They're going to have to um, make payment arrangements for it. They're going to have to let go. of. They need to explore why they use money, why they use people, why they show affection and take it away, why they throw money at a problem. They're going to have to confront it and they're going to have to really work through it. And I think you're going to be waiting. 
for them to do that. But justice is going to just, that's a weird card to have there, to be honest. So justice is about balance, karma, justice served. And that's sat right between you. I don't know. They are going to, they're going to. They're going to have to learn from their behaviour. They will be learning from their behaviour. Their behaviour is going to make them lose something. It's going to make them regret something. It's going to make them have to really sit down and think about what they've done. And, and justice is there right in the middle. So if this is someone that you're married to. There could be a divorce. There, there could be and that could go in your favour. I think you've got a very a different ethics and morals to what they have i think financially you're both worlds apart you're you want to build a nest egg you want to build it and you want to put money in the pot they just want to take money out of the pot i think you're romantically involved with this person i think that you get swept up when they're in there i'm gonna shower you with gifts i'm gonna spend the money i'm gonna have this i'm gonna have that i'm gonna have that and you get swept up in that and i think you've been overstretching yourself to try and keep up with it now's the time for you to start planting your seeds for your future and and watching them grow what i'm also really interested in is your energy was drawn towards the crown and the crown sits on the head of the king and queen and they're both reversed i think I don't think there's a necessarily, there may be an ex distance in their background who may not be happy with the romance that you have. I think that you may still be in a stage where I think you're secretly worrying about money and but when you're together you're having a great time but then when you're not together it's like a cold cold silence there may be a queen of cups in the background like causing problems but i think she has every right to because if she is an ex or if this person is an ex of the king of pentacles reversed then they've been done over by them for money as well but there's justice karma is going to come around karma is going to fix it karma is going to put it right you're not going to be when you come out of this finally come out of it i think at the moment you're in between should i walk away should i stay in should i walk away should i stay in i think you're going to get to the point where karma just comes in and fixes it and puts a balance back in for you i think you're going to walk away and, and at some point they're going to regret you walking away they're going to get that sense of loss when you walk away but you need to protect yourself financially there's no point in being with someone if in 10 years you're going to be financially broke you need to think about your financial future that's just as important as love and having those rose tinted glasses on and it's almost like when they're good, they're good. They're so good. You have such a great time. But oh my gosh, when they're being silent, they cause you as much heartache and anxiety as what they do happiness. So I'm going to have a look to see if you've got any past life connection with this person. I don't think you're um, a soulmate for them at the moment. That's not what I'm picking up at the moment anyway. I think karma's going to come in and just put you both back on the right track you are a lot stronger person than what they are you have a much better balance and outlook on life than what they do so i'm going to split the morgan greer deck into four four seasons four elements most importantly four angels i've been drawn towards this one so i'm going to do an overlay and see kind of where we at see if there's any past um reoccurring energy see if you're connected in any way or if you're both living on the same kind of life patterns okay so in your past life your first card their last card was the five of cups your first card in your past life was the five of cups so that's about loss regret and new hope you i think that's why you um in this life are ready to stand your ground you're ready to face those testing times and you have the courage because you went through the process of accepting that when you lose something you just mourn it you regret it and then you pull yourself together and move forward again and you've kind of you've almost hit this life with that deep inside you already so they had a transition in their old life they had to make a sacrifice to move forward they have the hanged man so that's all about transition that's all about meeting crossroads it's all about having to make a sacrifice in their life to move forward and then you're connecting energy as a judgment 
Okay, so judgment card is all about opportunities, surrendering and alignment and a higher purpose. Weird. So your next card in your past life was the devil and that sat on the uh, ace of pentacles reverse. So the devil in your past life is all about temptation, bad choices, feeling powerless. Okay, so then they had the lovers reversed in their past life, which is bad choices, frustrations. <sighs> Having a lot of different choices. And then we have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, you were connected in the past life. The King of Pentacles reversed energy is definitely between you and a past life. We have the Three of Wands for you, Ten of Swords for them, and the Strength reversed for you. So I'm going to talk through it. So your past life, there was something higher that brought you both together in a past life. And it, it you, you were at a point where you were working through loss and regret and having to find new hope. But instead of finding new hope, you kind of stumbled across this person or this person come into your life. They made a decision to be in your life, in a past life. And they, one of you felt it was a higher purpose bringing you both together. It was some kind of enlightenment that brought you together. You felt helpless. You felt, I think you knew in a past life that they were your temptation, that they were a bad choice. And I think you were aware that they had other lovers in a past life as well. I think you were both. It was kind of like the ideal set up for a very toxic relationship, really. And then we have the King of Pentacles reverse slap bang in the middle of you so there was a financial imbalance in your past life as well I think you kept going back they kept coming back and you kept being entwined for quite a long time in a past life and when it was good it was good and when it was bad it was bad pretty much how it is now so then you have the three of wands reversed which is misdirected efforts you kept putting a lot of effort in you kept as much as you were walking away, you kept going to it. It's like you kept getting burnt by the fire, but you kept putting your hand in the fire. You couldn't help it. You, they, they. It was like I'm just getting this real sense of intoxication. They, they made you feel something that they helped you escape from something. They made you feel something that you were longing to feel. But then they have the ten of swords, so there was betrayal. The Ten of Swords tarot card is all about self-sabotage, ending of relationships and betrayal. And the Strength card reversed between both of you is misdirected energy and no self-control. So I think they they took themselves away from you. Something happened that they made too many wrong decisions. It may even have been their death, kind of. Something, something put an end on their half between this connection to to you both and it wasn't something that they chose it was something that happened something that that happened and but you kept longing for them you kept wanting them you kept pursuing them if they were still there I think it may be that they died because of something and it and it's kind of left this re residual energy of what's come into this life in this life you're very ready to stand your ground you're very ready to fight for what you want you've kind of got that energy I think the energy from your past life where you kept making the same mistake you've learned not to do that now you've learned to pick your battles and you you've learned to do that but you're still your are your um soul and spirit is drawn towards this person because of how toxic and how intoxicating the connection that you both have and how it ended abruptly but you kept wanting it and it was something that was beyond your control you couldn't make it happen anymore it it it's you know if this resonates with you at all please let me know in the comments below because i think in this life 
they are going to get to the point where you walk away. I think it's going to be you that ends at this time and they're going to be having that feeling of loss and regret that you had in your past life that you you kept putting your energy towards them and this time they're going to be going, I don't know where they've gone, why have they gone? And, and I think you're going to be at the point where you're ready to put this whole connection behind you. You're ready to move on so that in this life that you pursue a better life without them i think you also recognize how toxic this whole thing can be and how painful this whole thing can be and you are going to be at the point where you're ready just to let it go so that when you go on to your next life you two don't connect again and i think that's really important and i think the reason why you have connected in this life because whatever happened in a past life it happened suddenly stopped so it's almost like your spirits and your souls have had to come together again so that you can get closure because you didn't get that closure in a past life but you can get that closure now you've got the justice card in your future it's going to balance it out it's going to correct karma is going to correct the um abrupt ending from the past it's going to heal it it's going to you know you're I think you know all this. I think deep down you recognise a lot of this, to be honest. So why did you meet them? You met them because your past life connection ended before you were ready for it to end. And you've you've kind of connected again in this life. And the reason why it's so up and down is because your energy and your spirit is just trying to get to the point where you can finally let them go you can finally recognize that you know it's, it doesn't serve you it's not doing you any good that you you want to build your nest egg you want to build a better future and you come into this life ready to to fight your corner ready to stand your ground but i think as you're getting older you're realizing that hang on, it doesn't always have to be a battle. I can plant my seeds, I can nurture them, I can grow them, and it doesn't always have, I don't always have to be ready for a battle. So you are going to get inner peace, you are going to get that healing, and you are going to be ready to move on. And this time it will be them that has the lost regret and they have to work through it. And they are going to, they're equally, their spirit and their soul is going to have the opportunity to sever this, not sever it, but, to heal it and process it so that you can now both go your separate ways. So I hope that's given you some explanation of why did you meet them, some insight. If you resonate with this reading, please let me know in the comments below because I'm curious. Cards give me so many different pictures in my mind and I just like to know. I like it when people fill it in, but... That's up to you. This is your personal life. This is your life. You don't have to do that. That's fine. I'm going to wrap you in a bubble of protection so your angels can take you on your way. My angels can take me on to my next reading. I'd like to thank you so, so much for watching. I do do personal readings on my website. They're £20 at the moment. I may have to put my price up a bit because I keep getting booked quite a lot. But at the moment, they're still £20. Um, and it's about a 48-hour wait on delivery at the moment. So that's all in the description below. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you've subscribed. I hope you come back and I hope to see you very soon. Personal readings are available on my website, hopetarrow-daily.co.uk. Welcome back to Hope to Have a Daily. This is your pick a card tarot reading for why did you meet them? Your energy was drawn towards this pretty little angel. So I'm going to put her here so she can over watch what we're doing. I'm going to do past life connection with the Morgan Greer deck with an overlay at the end. But we're going to start with the Rider White Smith tarot deck for this pick a card tarot reading. Why did you meet them? Is this person your twin flame? Are they a soulmate? Have they been a lesson? Did you meet them by mistake? Have you got past life connection? Is Have you got past life reoccurring energies or cycles? 
So I've already reset the deck, so I do that by dealing the cards into four piles, and then I bring them back together and give them a good shuffle. I like to close down any energy from any previous readings so that we can be certain. Every single card that comes out is definitely answering the question, why did you meet them in your pick a card tower read? And I'm going to start by splitting the deck into four, four seasons, four elements, most importantly, four angels, offering us a circle of protection so that we can give and receive this message with an open heart and an open mind. I've been drawn towards this one. I'm just going to have a quick drink. I'm always feeling that the cards kind of are being a bit awkward um, <clears throat> and I'm kind of feeling that there's lots you want to say to this person you just keep it all bottled up inside it's like you've got this whole universe going along inside you and you think all these things that you want to say to them you want to say it and you want to say it but you don't ever say it. it's like your words get stuck in your throat or that you just feel a bit awkward around them and you can't say everything that you want to say and it's almost like it's all about them and, and not about you and they kind of seem to say everything they want to say but you you can't always get your words out that's kind of the feeling I'm getting at the moment so we'll see what the cards have to say so you're down this side to you, down that side to them, down the middle is your connecting energy. So your first card is the Ace of Cups, which is all about happiness, deep love, joy. And then their first card is the Two of Wands reversed, which is partnership problems. So when you first met, you were at a point where you were really quite very happy. You were ready for deep love. You had your cup out. You were in a very happy place. I think they may have been coming out of a relationship they were at a point where they need to start making choices about their future they had a lot of self-doubt they kind of to and fro and they may even have an ex that they kept dipping back to and then leaving again and then your connecting energy right okay is the ace of pentacles so you've got the ace they've got a two so you're both at the beginning of something at the beginning when you first met or when you first become aware of each other so the ace of pentacles is all about financial gain contentment comfort money security being at the beginning of a new journey you were ready you were ready for this they were kind of having partnership problems with someone else anyway they were at a point where they were needing to make future plans needing to do move forward for the future and the world just kind of brought you both together really it's like they've lived a lot of life but they're ready for something new but they're kind of got self-doubt as well so i think you're more sure about it than what they were so we have the ten of cups tarot card reversed which is you're feeling unhappy kind of a little bit stormy at the moment they have the magician so maybe when you first met they weren't quite ready they weren't quite at the same point as what you were at they're now got the magicians they now have the self-confidence and they now have like everything they need to move forward they everything that they it's like they were waiting they're, they're kind of it feels like they're one step behind you and it's kind of made you doubt yourself like you were in a very very happy place but at the moment you're not feeling so happy there may be um there may be someone in your extended family on your side who has a problem with this person because i think they feel that this person is making you feel unhappy and I, and your family are finding it hard to accept this person or your friends find it hard to accept this person they think that and it's just causing a bit of tension for you causing a lot just you know it just doesn't feel right and I don't think it's the both of you that's called it. It's some people's opinions of it. People's opinions of this uh, impacting it. So your connecting energy is the high priestess reversed, which is about potential, potential being denied. So they're ready. Where they weren't ready before, this is either now or like soon to come. 
they're going to have it all worked out. They're going to be ready. But there's some people in your life who are just not happy. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. They should be happy for you, but they're not. It's like they're causing problems. And how you should be, like, we've got the ones and twos. You know, they're all coming out. But it's kind of ending something in, in your extended family or your friends for you, making you see people in a different way. And it's really holding back the process of this relationship because we have an ace, then we have a two reverse. So it's just taking its time. It's, it's, I don't think you saw the problems. I think you were so happy. You were so ready to fall in love. You were so ready for all of this. And I've, and you weren't ready for people around you to not support it it's weird so we have for you the world reversed which is about delays and disappointments and then for them we have the king of pentacles reversed which is about someone who's quite insensitive and overly materialistic and then we have the page of swords sat right in the middle of you and that's someone who's energetic quick thinking but breaks promises It's almost like you both had so much potential for this all to work out and for it all to go in the right direction because you've got two aces, you've got aces right in front and they've got, you know, all the right cards there to begin with. But I just get this feeling that there's people on the outskirts that put their opinions in and they shouldn't. If they actually cared about you, loved you, they would support you. And if they supported you, things would be different. Their opinions, their the stress they're putting on you is making or everything come to a standstill. And it's causing it's causing broken promises between you both. It's causing instead of bringing you together, it's pushing you both further apart. To the point where I don't think that this person is fully understanding it's almost like well if they can't if they can't support us and be with us why what does their opinions matter and their opinions matter because they're people that you love deeply and who have always loved and supported you so of course it hurts and it's causing problems and it's almost like they don't understand, they don't get it. They're just like, well, cut them out of your life then. But you don't want to. You don't want to let go of people that love and support you. You just want them. It's like you want them to support you. You can't move forward until they're supporting you. And the King of Pentacles reverse is not understanding. They're being quite insensitive. They're like, well, let's just get on with our lives. Let's just do this and that. And I think the King of Pentacles reverse energy that they have caused problems in their previous relationship as well they can't they i don't think they quite understand emotional support from family they i think they may have come from a different family background to what you do so i don't think they have the amount of people that care about them as what you do so i'm going to see what your past life connection is because i think it's so weird that at the beginning it was kind of right and right for you it's like so right for you and your connected energy was right but they you you were a step ahead of them they were a step behind because they were kind of dealing with partnership problems and maybe that's what the problem is with the people around you there's definitely people around this relationship sticking their roar in that they shouldn't but then maybe they see something about this person that you're not seeing maybe they see because the king of pentacles reversed is someone who is very insensitive it's all about money and can be quite mean about stuff can pay for everything and then twist it on you and say look i paid for that i paid for that so maybe i'm I'm gonna say i'm gonna put this out here maybe your family and friends who are disapproving of this see them in a way that you don't want to see them and see the fuller picture about them or know things about them about what's happened with past relationships and they're just they're trying to protect you i think they are trying you're the people who are causing problems for you are doing it because they love you so much and I think if you had to get to a, this is my personal advice for you, to be honest, what I'm picking up. If you 
are at the point where you have to choose between your friends and family or this person go with your friends and family because I honestly think they see something or they know something or they're picking up on something that you just don't want to pick up because when you met them you were in a place of being ready for deep love deep joy deep happiness and you've attached all that to them because to be honest that's kind of the what was being put towards you so you've picked up on all that and you're keeping hold of all that and so if there are any negative traits in this person instead of seeing it as a negative trait about them you're attaching that negativity towards the people who are being outspoken about it if that makes sense if this resonates please let me know in the comments below so i'm going to do an overlay with the Morgan Greer deck so in your past life your energy was the king of swords and that was someone who's wise counsel professional assertive probably high up in the class system kind of born into good things had a brain had intelligence had education had everything that you needed in a past life I think that's why you've got that underlying happiness in this life because you had a good life in your past life or you were born into a good life in your past life and you were someone that was important and someone that mattered and someone that other people looked up to so in their past life oh dear they were the knight of pentacles reversed the knight of pentacles repaired first is someone who's quite timid someone who who wants to be something but they can't quite get there because they need to take a new approach and they don't always have the energy to take a new approach your connecting energy was the three of cups so that's about celebrations friendship family so this person may have been a family member in a past life and you were higher up in the ranking and they they kind of looked up to you and they were timid and and you were close but they also wanted what you had but they couldn't quite work it out they couldn't quite get to what you had so then we have the page of swords which is about um energetic broken promises which is the energy that's your future connecting energy um someone who's a quick thinker they've had to work hard and they're previous life they really had to work hard to compete with you i think it was more of a competitive like you may have been brothers you may have been um uh father and son you may have been within like cousins or or competing for like your grandparents attention they had to work hard for it and it came natural to you you had the natural energy you in your past life you broke promises and you didn't really think about it because you just done what was best for you which you should have done anyway and then between you we have the four of pentacles reversed which was a fear of loss between you and an over attachment so i think in a previous life they over attached themselves to you the um the bond the family bond that was between you it was kind of an unhealthy bond then we have the um page of cups reversed which is wasted talents for them we have yeah they got you caused a lot of heartache but i don't think you meant to so we have deep heartache family conflict with the three of swords and then in between we have the four of wands or four of rods which is delays temporary delays I think they worked very hard to try and impress you and it just it just didn't happen it's almost like you were living your life you were the king of swords you had roles responsibilities people come to you for advice you were like the leader of your family and you were high up in your family and, and this person kept doing everything they could to impress you they worked hard to impress you and they over attached it's like they they wanted your approval and they worked hard and they worked hard and they wanted your approval and they just never really got it and that's not your fault that they over attached their like they worked hard they wanted your approval so they 
your approval meant too much and it just caused them heartache and it caused delays in your bond and I think maybe they had to just I think they lived a very unhappy life because they couldn't be you or they couldn't compete with you or they couldn't impress you and and everything and I just think you've got this natural happiness I think once all this is resolved I think there is some kind of resentment that has come through in this life there is they have um in this life much more control about the direction their life's going but they have this they have this feeling towards you that they don't really understand i think they're put in that connection with well, my, my, maybe my past relationship would have been fine if I hadn't have met you. But really, it's um, a past life connection where their soul is. You, I caused myself so much pain because I couldn't impress you or I couldn't be you. And I resented you and I cared about you. And your opinion of me thought felt so much and it kind of really put a delay on their life. And it's kind of overhung in this in this life it's like there's just this thing there with them it's it's weird so i think your family i think there's someone in your family that that picks up this thing i think you feel so connected to them because your your spirits and your souls have connected in a past life but i don't think your past life um, energy truly understands the impact that you had on them I think that in this life your energy just connected to them because you have met before and you had a good life and a past life and you I don't think your past life was at all aware of the impact that you had so you come into this all pure and deep and love and happiness and and everything like that whereas they're they're in this life still trying to find their feet. They've not found their feet yet. And there's some kind of underlying resentment towards everything. Like, it's almost like they, they worked so hard in a past life that it's come through in this life. They've got a bit of a chip on their shoulder. So I hope this has given you some explanation of why you've met this person. I don't think they're a twin flame or a soulmate. I do think you were in the same family in a past life and that's why you felt that instant, hey, I've met you before. I know this like love and, and everything. And I think if, I think your current energy was hoping that this was the beginning, kind of picked up on all those signals and misread it a little bit. So I'm going to wrap you in a bubble of protection so your angels can take you on your way. My angels can take me on to my next reading. I'd like to thank you so, so much for watching. I do have private readings available on my website. It's detailed in the um, description below. There's about 48 hour waiting at the moment on them, but they're there. If you want to have one, you can. Uh, I've got plenty more videos. I'd like to thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Personal readings are available on my website, hopetarot-daily.co.uk.